Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where we have to re not re re go back into <laughs> that's not that's not how English works. Uh we're going back in onto this planet. We need to see the cool great rift. And we're gonna go try to help with this biotic compound and hope we have enough charm. We really should. It's one of the earlier things you get. It is technically, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it was it was something that we found by hacking into somebody's desk monitor at the Citadel, and then and then we get here and freaking hack. It's like, hey, by the way, I'm like, I'm already, I'm already on it. I'm on it. But they changed the name of it. I think there's also a mineral. Yeah, there's a mineral right close to it. Look at that. You can see it. I mean, here. Is it gold? I don't remember. I don't know why I really like in, I don't know, fetch quests and other games. It's not even a fetch quest. It's just a collectible, you know? And like in some games, I'm like, no, I don't want it. Like in Assassin's Creed, I just, it is gold. Nice. It's not, I don't think, it's not necessarily useful for the reasons we use it now. It's more for, like, the electronics and stuff. Uh, I mean, we're like, gold, wow, but it actually is more useful, I think, in technology than anything really else, really. But I could be wrong. It could still be very economically valuable. Ooh, I'm pretty sure you gotta go in here. I think I was saying something before I got distracted by gold, but alas... It's, uh, it's not, it's not here anymore. It's not in the brain. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Was it... Do I have to go over there now? I think I can go in here. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. It's almost he kind of is taking advantage of a of, of a of a small portion of a group. Like these are obviously people who have been very like disenfranchised, marginalized, you know, etc. Um, like not all biotics are like that, but they are treated overall, I think. It kind of depends on where you're at, but they're at least a little bit, people are, like, weirded out by them. They have, like, you know, it, it's still relatively new, you know? It's still, like, it's like space magic. It's like, whoa. But, like, I think it's cool, right? But, like, you do, you, you probably hear enough stories in this world of, like, biotics gone crazy and destroying things, you know? But it's, like, doesn't mean you should treat all of them like second-class citizens or anything, you know? Just because people are different... But that's just the way things go. Not that it's okay and that you shouldn't try to change it, but I love that everyone's walking around in like civilian clothes, but they like, very obviously have weapons in their hands because if you come in here guns blazing, you can have a big old fight with them. I think I was supposed to go to the other place, but that's okay. We're gonna pick up their goodies. Don't mind me, I'm just coming in and uh, borrowing some stuff. And I will go talk to Father Kyle now. But they, they would kind of like, like a group like this can potentially latch on to somebody, especially because they see Father Kyle probably uh -huh, as having been in the Alliance and therefore maybe has like the power to help them, sort of? Like, the power, like, to talk to the right people, you know? Um, 
but he's just convinced them. That he's like, oh, I can save you. And I get it. Like, I think, you know, if he lost a lot of soldiers under his command, he wants to sort of redeem himself by saving a different group, you know? Um, of people that he, act, that he does feel like he could save, you know? But he was, the, the Alliance military deemed him unfit to lead, psychologically, at least for now, and it probably could have helped him more. But because of that, he took his, what leadership, you know, the experience that he had being a leader, and used it to sort of convince these people that he was the one who could help them, which, if that's what they've been looking for, like, it's probably super easy, you know, like, they just want someone to speak for them and to be in their corner, but it is sort of that, like, savior complex thing, too, so it's kind of like, eh. But he's got, he's got his own issues and all of that, so. They all need a little bit of help. Why? It's all just, look at these, these mods that are just for, like, your weapons and stuff. I'm like, give me anything else, please. Like many people, I don't switch my squad up that much. Can I go? Okay. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Uh, the Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. They're not helpless. They're freaking full-grown adults, as far as I can tell, because there's no real kids in these series. But, like, maybe if they were, like, teenagers, which would also be super mega weird action now that I think about it, if it was, like, kids and teenagers out here, you know? But, like, they're full-grown adults, and they're biotics. Like, yeah, they could get crushed by, like, you know, mental, like, like, depression and stuff like that from a society that's uncaring and all that, but they're freaking biotics. They'll... And they're adults. Like, they can't... If they get help, too, then they can, you know, they can take care of themselves. And they can probably even take care of themselves now. They just, like, thought this... Like, they, they wanted to belong to a group or a community or whatever, you know, type thing that was, like, closer-knit and, like, was more, like... Not just the broader group of biotics, but a specific sort of extremist one, you know, that, like, fit their views. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. It's kind of like... Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank She's you saying children with a straight your face. can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Yes, yes. Off we go, off we go. I mean, yeah, we came here to, to resolve this peacefully, right? So... Like, everybody here is damaged in some way, you know, and doesn't deserve to be treated like subhuman or whatever. Subsentient. <laughs> it's just a lot of damage 
that needs to be a, that is potentially you could pin it on the alliance because they let captain or major kyle go without any real help they were like oh yeah we'll just let you take a break bud without like giving him a better support structure like sometimes it's just you're like oh we have it it's like well that's great you have to like show them give it to them and hand it to them you can't just expect people to like know about it or to seek it out on their own sometimes you know it needs to be easily accessible oh and available hmm Should I go... I don't know if I click on the... On the galaxy map or back here? I don't know. Okay, that's just... It's probably the galaxy map, I guess. Message coming in. Patching it through. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed, Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. This is one of those missions, though, where I wish me being a biotic laid a little more into it, where it's like... I, there's nothing... I mean, it's nice that it leaves it open kind of for, like, head cannons and stuff like that, but, like... I have nothing at all in my tie skins in my background. I did that that indicates like you know the any sort of biotic like troubles or anything that I had, you know. So it would have been nice. Gravitiers. Let's see how many more. Oh. Oh, we have this server. Only like four right now. Let's do uh well No, we'll do another we'll do some more side stuff and then the next time we will go in and start uh, Novaria or Pharos. If I was uploading these like daily, I would do like a poll and say, which one should I go to first? Because I can never decide. I usually go to Novaria first because I have Liara, and now I know, right, that like her mom is there, but. Oh, I'll have to look and see. What did they say about them? Okay, so that does, it does make more sense, honestly, to go to Pharos first because they are actively being attacked. Whereas the they've re they've received reports of get interest at Novaria, so maybe I'll go to Pharos first. Do, do, do. I think mean, that would make sense from Shepard's point of view, right? Like there's like an active <laughs> get uh, fight or just interest. What do I want to do? Privateers in this Horsehead Nebula Strena system. I'm really good. I'm like, oh yeah, I know exactly where it is. Oh, it's in the same place as Novaria. Sometimes I'm like, my, my brain just remembers where the clusters are, the nebulas. Commander, ah! urgent message from Alliance <laughs> Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. It's not the moon yet, is it? What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons it's, and technology and live fire simulations. It's the moon, isn't it? One of the VIs we nah. use to simulate <laughs> enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Which, like, that's not how V... It's not... I mean, I... I uh... Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. 
We didn't do anything else. Uh huh. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI. Don't Corps try to and manually. Don't try to it. justify your VI to me. I know that they include it though, right? To like sort of indicate to you via through like game dialogue the difference between AI and VI and like, you know, why we use VI and whatnot. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access. How to its did processes. it go rogue? Is the important we question. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still uh. human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. Stop holding that over my head. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. I am 100% not the only person that can pull this off. Service has never been fully mapped. A global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. <laughs> there are indications of primitive organic life developing deep within the global ocean. A medallion. An ancient deep space probe. Tally brought it aboard, dismantled it, and found a mega war medallion. The sun's so bright. Oh, jeez. Antitara. Hydrocarbons in the atmosphere with a distinct brown tint. Helium 3. Excellent. Tiny planet. It's a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Uh, a selenium religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere, re <laughs> hemisphere resembles their goddess. Sure, sure thing. Maybe it does. Can't actually land right now though. This is this is this is the kind of like pop-up that happens when you can land on a planet, but apparently not right now. And if it's got if it's got, a, if it's got a cold hazard warning, or like any sort of hazard warning, that means you can land on the planet, but uh, it's not letting me do that. I must not have the mission yet, which is weird. Usually you can land even if you don't have the mission. I don't know, that's weird. It's tinged blue by trace quantities or methane. His ship was maybe in space, but maybe it's not. Maybe I only find remnants of it on the planet. I think I do. Ten minutes. Rogue VI. There's a secret about the Rogue VI too, but I can't. I don't know. Those of you who know, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not too worried about spoilers, but. Oh, he's Gamma Cluster, and Taya System. What do we got on minerals so far? Gases are almost done. Lithium Davis, Kasari writing. Well, that one is weird. Hades Gamma. <laughs> 
I'm in a weird place where like I only have 10 minutes or so. Hey, Zam. Hey, Zam. Hey, Zam. And tears. Oh, good. No one else is trying to talk to me. Oh, matriarch writing. You could not determine what the object was. We did get a matriarch Dilnega writing. Um, ships. Oh, active scans by several ships have returned tantalizing indications of massive solid structures deep in the atmosphere. Too regular in pattern to be anything natural. Some believe Ploba is a Jupiter brain, a planet sized supercomputer. Adherents of this theory have previously beamed signals towards the sun and mega structures hoping to get the machine's attention. Others believe that an ancient spacefaring race to pop the disposed of their weapons of war by dumping them onto the planet. The last attempt to reach and salvage Ploba's deep anomalies are tragically wrong and ended with the crew of 12 being trapped and crushed in the gas giant's lower atmosphere. I mean, you gotta send, like, probes in, not people. If your probe gets squashed, don't send people. But that's cool. I, I like reading stuff like that where it's like, there's, th there's, th I think what these what these little blurbs do is they help point out that like we still don't know everything about the galaxy, you know? Relatively mild. Oh yeah, this is the Exogeny Corp. Perform a test impact of a single water ice comma up to the surface. A survey team is on the surface monitoring the geological and meteorological effects of the test impact. Most of the water release is still in the form of atmospheric vapor. There's every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites. I wonder why! It's the Geth. I'm pretty sure it's the Geth. Cryovolcanic. What a word, right? Cryovolcanic. You got six minutes to rescue, air quotes, rescue this survey team. I know it's probably like we couldn't fit them on. They didn't want to like do like, you know, you getting a bunch of, ooh, look at the sand. You getting a bunch of people, like randos, on like your various ships and whatnot, but but still, they could let us find survivors sometimes, and just let them chill on the planet. There's the rain clouds potentially forming, and of course, Exogeny's been covering this up, right? Because they're like, oh, our experiment, which was probably very expensive is looking like it's going to be successful and we don't want to deter investors or get the government involved or anything. Screw like 12 people down there working for us. Pecking garbage people. I feel like really once you become like an upper level echelon thing of a corporation, like you kind of just lose your soul. You lose your humanity, I guess you could say. Recover. Is empty for a small tattered flag. Down we go into here. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, oh no, oh no, oh no. My my spike is doing.
one is probably not doing much, but... stepping down to jail at some point. Have I actually... Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay, the anomaly. And then... I think you get more clues if you go around to the other stuff first. But... I'm not sure. I guess we can always just go in order. You can always discover the clues later and be like, oh yeah, 2020 hindsight, you know. Besides, your first priority really would be going to, like, if there were any survivors left, you'd be going to try to save survivors. Does this say going into... I think you can go into these buildings. It's deserted. They did. They did. I gotta turn some of this into freaking Omni Gel. These planets are so desolate. Could you imagine? I mean, it would be like crazy to like go out. According to these data logs, mm. the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. I thought they were just I was supposed to be monitoring. That's like an inferior Mako, uh, monitoring like meteorological and geological stuff, not. Surveying or well, geological, okay, yeah. And they would generally, if you have any sort of digging going on, substantive digging, especially if you have alien technology, where like it went like really, really deep, potentially, you would have archaeologists on hand. Even now, if there's a lot of digging going on, some a lot of times you'll have archaeologists around to do like even like monitoring geology things. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I think we might not actually hop into here because I want to start Pharos next. Um, and I hate to like start it in the middle of an episode and we keep kind of getting to these places and then having to like cut it off like a cliffhanger. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.